Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number two from the January 2022 Statistics S1 um, International A Level Edexcel exam. And this question here is um, about looks like it's about correlation and regression. It says Tom's car holds 50 liters of petrol when the fuel tank is full. For each of 10 journeys, each starting with 50 liters of petrol in the fuel tank. Tom records the distance traveled and the amount of petrol used. So the distance is D and the petrol is P in liters, D in kilometers. The summary statistics for the 10 journeys are given below. So here this is for 10 journeys, so N equals 10. This is the total sum of the distances he's traveled, the total sum of the petrol that has been used, okay? And this is the sum of these the sum of the distances and the petrols multiplied together and this is the the, the this is SDD and SPP which um, basically tells us something about how the the distance varies with itself and how the petrol amount of petrol varies with itself the, something to do with the variance of the distance and the petrol so let's calculate the product moment correlation coefficient between D and P PMCC which is given the symbol R now there is a formula in the formula book which is as follows, okay, which, I'll just make that a bit smaller. All right, this will help us find what R is. Okay, so it says R equals SXY divided by the square root of SXX and SYY. Now, what we have here is we have these two. We have S, what, what corresponds to this, are SDD and SPP. What we don't have is SXY which would be SDDP, basically, SDP. Now, we can find this using, we can find what SDP is using this formula here. The X being the D and the Y being the P, for example. So we can actually find R using this formula. We can say that it's the sum of XY, so the sum of DP, which is this. That's 5,240. 5240.8 minus the sum of x times the sum of y so the sum of d times the sum of p so it's 1029 multiplied by 50.8 divided by n which is the number which is 10 10 data entries divided by and these two we already have here the square root of so this is finding that part here, which is SXY, or SDP. This is SDP. We got divided by the sum of X double X and S double Y, which is, corresponds to our SDD and SPP. So this is divided by the square root of 344.9 multiplied by 0 0.576. And that's going to give us our value of R. Okay, so I'll put fraction... So I have 5240.8, be very careful not to miss anything out, minus, I'll put another fraction here, 1029 times 50.8 over 10. Okay, divided by the square root of 344.9. Times 0 0.576. Now that gives us 0 0.95638, which we can then say is 0 0.956. That's the value of R. Okay, that's the value of R, the PMCC, between D and P. Okay, so there's the answer to part A. Then it says part B. It says the amount of petrol remaining in the fuel tank for each journey W liters is recorded. Write down an equation for W in terms of P. Okay, so the amount of petrol in the beginning of the journey is always 50 liters. And the amount used is P. So the amount remaining is going to be 50 minus P. Simple as that. Okay, so W for part one. W is the amount that you start with. So W is the amount um, remaining, 
is equal to the amount you start with minus the amount you use. Okay, so it simply seems it's only worth one mark, so that seems correct. Then it says, hence write down the value of the PMCC between W and P. Now, R, the value of R is basically um, the correlation. Okay, it tells you about how strong the correlation is and what type of correlation there is between W and P. So here we have um, the correlation between the amount of petrol um, used and the and the um, distance traveled. It's a very strong correlation, right? Almost one. So the amount of petrol you used, okay, and the amount of uh, the distance you travel, okay, the, the correlation is uh, very, very strong. It means a more positive, it's positive 0 0.9, very close to one. If R is equal to one, it's perfect positive correlation. If R is equal to negative one, then it's perfect negative correlation, all right? So here, part one, part eight shows that the correlation between the amount of petrol used and the distance traveled is very strong positive correlation, meaning the further you travel, the more distance you're going to, the more petrol you're going to use. The further you travel, the more petrol you're going to use. So as D is bigger, um, P is also bigger, and they're very much correlated. Okay, it's a very strong relationship, positive correlation between them. Okay, now for this question, the the correlation between the amount of petrol remaining in the fuel tank and the amount of petrol used is going to be perfect negative correlation because you know they're going to both add up to 50 the amount of petrol that you got um w is the amount of petrol remaining okay and the amount of petrol used they have to add up to 50 so it's going to be perfect correlation but it's going to be negative correlation because as you use more petrol, okay, there's less petrol remaining. Okay, so it's going to have negative correlation. So the value of R in this case is going to be basically negative one. Perfect, perfect negative correlation. All right, there's not going to be any, uh, you know, doubt for that because you use petrol, the petrol remaining is going to be less. Negative correlation, and it's going to be perfectly po um, negative, perfect correlation. Okay, so R is going to be negative one here. And then it says, part C, write down the value of PMCC um, between D and W. So D is the amount of distance you travel, and W is the f amount of fuel remaining in your, um, W is the amount of fuel remaining in your tank. Okay, so here, this is also going to be negative correlation, but it's going to be, you know, not perfect negative, almost perfect. It's going to be the same as this, but negative. Because this is the correlation between how much, petrol you use and how far you travel and we want to find the, the correlation between um, you know the amount of petrol that remains in your tank and how far you travel of course the amount the further you go the less petrol remains in your tank but this is a this is a correlation between what's used uh, or uh, what how much you use and how much you travel so this here r is going to be just basically the same value but negative negative 0 0.9 five six okay it's gonna be negative 0 0.956 it's gonna be negative correlation between the amount of petrol remaining and the distance traveled the more you travel the less petrol is going to be in your tank um but it's going to have the same value but the opposite sign as a of the correlation between the amount of petrol used and the amount of petrol uh, or the distance you've traveled okay so there's the answer for number two it's actually a very short question um which we're not very used to in s s1 and that's probably the reason why there was more than six questions. Normally there's six questions in S1. And I think one of my students who took the exam in January, he just stopped at the six question thinking that there's only six questions um, in it and he, he missed out a question. So there's something that you have to be careful about. Always check to see that we have, you have answered all the questions. And probably the reason why is because this is quite a short question, which is not usual in S1. Normally you've got six questions which are quite lengthy in most cases. Anyway, so there's the answer to number two, which is about correlation and regression. Other questions from this paper, January 2022, can be found in this playlist over here. Other questions from correlation and regression can be found in the playlist down here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.